We have dogs and we have potatoes. There's no difference between decapitating all of these dogs and chopping up these potatoes to eat them. Yeah, if you're going to feed people with it, there is no difference. Why do you care about humans? We have the ability to differentiate between right and wrong. If we have the ability to differentiate from right and wrong, why do we cut animals' heads off for a sandwich? You can kill animals. If you're, if you're hungry, you, you want to eat something, you can kill it. You're not hungry, bro. you got other things to eat. I believe that. They're below us and we can use them because they're below us. That's your view. Yeah, essentially. It's a really f***ed up world view. It's a supremacist mindset. But mine isn't like that. Mine... It's exactly like that. Through the animal's eyes, is it bad? Uh... A knife goes into their throat and their head is cut off of their shoulders. Is that bad for the animal? It depends how hungry are you. <laughs> I don't know. It depends I, I, how hungry are you. Just, I, you are, bro. Yeah. If you're hungry, then you would kill as well. No, I don't think it's justified to kill people because I'm hungry. Can I kill you if I'm hungry? Of course. So I, I can't torture animals in your, in your ethical view. I can only cut their head off. Yeah. So humans said it's okay to abuse those who are smaller than them. Yeah. Or, or weaker than them. So therefore yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Okay. And the Nazis said it's okay to gas chamber the Jews because they were a minority in Germany, yeah? Yeah. And that's okay? No, it's not. The Nazis said it was okay. They said it was okay, but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. And whites in America thought it was okay to enslave black people uh, because, because they no. said it was okay. No, because they... Because so just they... because humans say it's okay to do this to animals, does that yeah. make it okay? It's an easy question, man. Hey, for me, it's no. No, 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 wait. For me, it's 100% no, no. no. That's psychotic. That's an evil world. And you're wrestling with this. It's to be honest, I feel like I'm arguing with someone that just doesn't give a shit about like the, the, the feelings of others. That's what yeah. I, I feel like. I'm arguing with someone who has no empathy. We've got a table here that says, veganism is a moral obligation. Prove me wrong. And you've sat down. I don't know why you've sat down. You sat down to prove me wrong? That's right. Um, okay. I, I think I will argue maybe it's a bit too much, I think. Maybe it's being vegetarian could be, could be, maybe it could be acceptable in my view, but being vegan, I think it's a bit, it's a bit too, too much to say it's a moral obligation to, to go that far. Why? Uh, because I think, uh, and you can correct me if I don't know it, so if you are vegan, you're not allowed to eat the animal products. You're allowed to do whatever you want, but when you're a vegan, you, you don't do them because you have a ethical reason not to, so you, you basically are... You're choosing... You, you're choosing not to as a boycott. Yeah, but you're supposed to not eat it, eat them. Yeah, right? you, you can't call yourself a vegan if you eat animal products, but I'm yeah. saying it's not like allowed or not allowed, it's, yeah. you do it because it's the right thing to do. Okay, but... Yeah. Uh, so I think... Uh, being vegetarian is like uh, one of the one of the good reasons for behind it is that it's about numbers game I think it's about some numbers uh, I think a very solid argument behind it is that uh, it's about feeding animals versus feeding humans with the grains that we feed feed the animals with like the, if, if we were not to feed the animals all the grain that we are producing we would feed more humans than yeah. Damn. So this okay, is like but that's, an, that's an environmental argument. Uh, veganism yeah, is an yeah. animal rights. You know what animal yeah. rights are? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, like right, like you know how we have human rights, fundamental rights. Don't yeah, enslave. I'm, don't yeah, murder. I'm actually a lawyer. Yeah, okay, so, great. So you know, right? Yeah, yeah, negative rights. You know what yeah. negative rights? Are? Okay. So the reason you have a moral, in my view, have a moral obligation to be yeah. vegan is because if you and vegetarian. Okay, let's just say we didn't eat the flesh of some hypothetical people, right? We didn't eat their flesh. They have certain products that say human beings are being used for their hair and they're breast milk. They're breeding them, they're using them for these products. They have no rights. Yeah. They're owned by me. Yeah. They're essentially property. Yes. They are, they're the means to an end, which is my financial gain. Yeah. Human beings, are, whoever they are, 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 are deriving whatever pleasure they get from using these products. Then they go to the slaughterhouse to have their rights of life violated. And then their bodies are given to human meat eaters, right? Now, you don't think as a vegetarian, you have an obligation to be vegan and boycott that system. Okay. Okay, now I, I'm beginning to understand your viewpoint. Okay. You're saying this is, this is basically not right. Before, not before because, you go, go ahead. Yeah. Do we have an obligation as a vegetarian to avoid that system? In, in your example with the humans, like the yeah. hypothetical human stuff like yeah. that. Of course, like you don't uh, eat human or human products, so you, whatever you do. So you'd be an ob you'd be, yeah. there would be an obligation to be a vegan at that point in this hypothetical way. Like, and um, not a vegetarian that supported so, that system. Uh, so... It's a bit weird analogy, but just, people people do like hair wigs and stuff. People just yeah, and lose their hair and just choose the sell product. Them. It's fingernails, whatever. So yeah, yeah, no, no. But in the dairy and egg industry, those animals have no rights. Yes, they're exploited for their their eggs and milk. Yeah, that's uh, right. There's a lot of right. welfare issues that happen, of course. Calf stealing, mastitis, lameness, uh, horns yeah. being cauterized. You got hens that produce egg, 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 egg. Uh, yeah. Beak clipping. They die in the sheds. There, but. Yeah. Outside yeah. of the welfare issues, the rights violations that happen to these animals, they are property and they get slaughtered. 
Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. This is this is the legal standpoint. As it is, they're just property, and uh, there are some criminal laws that if you torture them or do uh, unethical stuff, then you get into trouble. Basically, in uh, most simple certain terms. Certain forms of torture. Certain yeah, forms yeah. of torture are legal. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's the right. They, they do like the head. Uh, their, their, their existence is torture. The, the egg laying hen's uh, existence is torture. Yeah, this is the uh, capitalism for you. They just maximize their uh, gain. They're trying to supply and demand. Uh, yeah. Supply and demand. Yeah, they're trying to maximize it, and th those animals aren't meant to live like that. Of course, it's not in their nature. Uh, this so, is this is the bad face of capitalism, I think. Yeah, but, and, and uh, veganism right. is basically a boycott of those. Yeah. Because here we have a direct supply and demand chain. Yeah. Yeah, the one feeds the other, so like like that you mean. Yeah, yeah, by the eggs and dairy, this uh, happens to the cows and, and the hens. Uh, so why don't we have an obligation so, to avoid those rights violations, but so, we do yeah, in the meat industry? Yeah, I agree that um, the animals shouldn't shouldn't be treated like that, of course. But uh, just by killing animals, uh, I don't think this is like a wrong thing to do, because at the end of the day, uh, they are, they're, of course, they're not humans, and they are there for our benefit. This is like my standpoint. Uh, the animals or the trees or the stones or the water or whatever is on the earth if you uh, within the within the reason you can uh, make use of that whatever is whatever is there okay so you, uh, are you yeah. equating like yeah. animals to stones and trees and all that because are you putting them all in together uh they they are for the benefit of humankind that's that's why yeah, my are you equating to... like animals like, like yeah, cows like whole, and hens yeah. to stones and trees do you think they're equal in terms uh, of ethics of course ethical not. consideration no, no, of course not. Okay. They, are, they are equal in terms of that humans have a right to make use of them okay yeah, like, but, because uh, they they, they okay. use the skin of the horse or maybe they just ride the horse they just use them as vehicles yeah uh, it's, there's nothing wrong with okay, riding but, a but horse are they ethically equal do, do they yeah. both deserve the same ethical consideration trees stones no, of, of course you can uh, smash a rock but you can smash a chicken's brain or okay whatever. and why do chickens deserve ethical consideration because, because they're alive and uh, they they but feel trees pain. are alive, so they who cares? Pain and... Trees are alive. Yeah, but but why do chickens animals. deserve ethical consideration? Uh, because they they are alive and they are not like trees, so it's not the same. I think no. oh, they're because sentient beings. With some of the insects, like they don't, they uh, they don't really have pain sensors. Even even the animals. Chickens some don't have pain sensors. No, no, some insects. Insect, yeah, no, I some agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. But I'm talking like, about chickens here because yeah, egg, yeah. eggs come from chickens. Um, so chickens matter because they are not Sorry. like trees. Trees are alive, but they are yeah. conscious, sentient. Uh, Do you know these sentient. words? Yeah, yeah, sentient. So intelligence. They have experience, uh, they have not experience intelligence, because but plants are intelligent. So intelligence, intelligence is, is like, like IQ. A, intelligence is like IQ, isn't it? Yeah, and certain like organisms can have a intelligent you process, responses. Process data. You're intelligent. Yeah, that this is intelligent, but it's not yeah. sentient. Like you can calculate yeah. or intelligent. It's a weird but topic. But chickens like, are sentient. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I actually understand your point, but my first, I just want to remind you, my first point was not about this this uh, aspect of the of of this argument, like of this concept. Uh, my point was the numbers. Like you can feed a lot of animals with the grain, and instead of just feeding those animals, you could just feed the grain and feed the, a bigger population of humans. So, like, world hunger yeah, but the animals like in the eggs and dairy industry are eating grain too, but, yeah. but that's beside the point of veganism. Veganism is yeah. not about feeding grain. Uh, that's a yeah. resource issue. Yeah, so... I, yeah, veganism is an animal rights um, yeah, yeah. philosophy about so, ethics, right, of right. the animals, right? Now, the reason I... You yeah. said that we can take what we need from yeah. animals, we can take what we need because they benefit us. If we didn't, so, so we didn't if, reason, yeah. If a group of beings who are sentient benefit another group of beings who are also sentient, because they benefit that group of beings, we are justified to take what we so, want from them. So, yeah, uh, it is. So, uh, because it's it's not really uh, reasonable. It's not realistic to to believe that those things. I think because we're not living in ideal world. Like we don't have solar panels that we just raise our hand to the sun and get energy from them. Yeah. So, uh, it's it's perfectly normal for human beings to make use of the other. I don't other care resources. what's normal, by the way. Yeah. I don't care if. Yeah. Whatever horrible fill in the blank was normal. I care if it's morally right to do, yeah. if it's ethical to do, okay? Are yeah. you saying that we have to live by der deriving benefit from chickens and cows? No, of course we don't have to. Okay, so but... you know, it's not like uh, we don't live in a yeah. perfect world, so we have to get eggs and dairy. Like, obviously, you know, there are alternatives to these products. Yeah, yeah. So it's like really not that hard to avoid. Are you a vegetarian? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just. So I you're, oh, so you're a meat. meat. I eat okay. Meat. I, eat, uh, I thought you were a vegetarian. Meat. This is a whole different topic. Okay. 
No, so but it shouldn't matter. It, it does matter because you're arguing for a position that you don't hold yourself. No, no. But I said, like I tried to say, it, what I believe so is what? a fair argument for on behalf of the vegetarianism is that it's number game. Like it's a fair argument. It's you a see, sound you're argument. Saying, you're saying that if we advocate vegetarianism instead of veganism, we'll have more numbers. Yeah, it will. It will help a practical issue, which is like a world hunger. But your point is more like uh, ethical. So my understanding was to be to be clear. It's, it's a moral obligation to other humans, not like the other animals. It's a moral obligation to, to the animals that we abuse yeah. and murder and violate so their rights. I believe it is a moral obligation to uh, be vegetarian or try to be vegetarian or at least try to consume less meat because of the other people. Like there, there are people suffering because of world hunger. And uh, this is a solid argument. Like if you don't feed that much animals and if you feed that grain into the other humans, like the people in Africa, then... Why do you care about humans? Uh, because they are, um, they are, they are, they are basically the creatures on Earth who are most deserving, whatever that is. Yeah. Humans are the most deserving. Most deserving, yeah. Like of all the creatures, they are the most why? deserving. Uh, why? Because we know what we have the ability to differentiate between right and wrong, and that makes us. If we deserving. have the ability to differentiate from right and wrong, why do we cut animals' heads off for a sandwich? You you can't cut an animal's head for a sandwich. You just don't torture the guy. It, what makes us special yeah. is we can differentiate from right and wrong, and that yeah. makes us the most important beings. Yes. Why do we decapitate beings who we consider not special? Does is it? Do you think that's right or wrong? So we we decap decapitate. Do you know the what animals? decapitate means? Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, beheading. Slicing off beheading their heads yeah. in order to cut their body parts yeah, off. Yeah. So it is. And is that right or wrong? So that is totally depending on the reason. If you're hungry. You can do whatever because no, I'm not you saying you're habits. starving. You're not. No, you're in your situation. Yeah. You yeah, yeah. right now. What's your name? Uh, Ali. 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 You're in this situation right now. Yeah. Is it right or wrong to decapitate an animal to eat them? If you're going to eat them, yeah, why not? You can. It's, 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 it's right. Is it? Is, is it right? If you're not going to waste it, like if you're not going to just hunt. Is it ethical to do? Yeah, if you're just hunting them and just. Uh, yeah. Lying okay. Them there. So you've got vegan food here. Yeah. Available to you. Yeah. And you've got an animal you've got to decapitate. Which one is it right and wrong to do? So it's, it's, I believe they're both the same. So, yeah, my my point is, it is not wrong because at the first, like, uh, in the first position, like at the, at, uh, from the start, I believe that uh, animals and whatever is in the in the nature is for the benefit of human beings. Like human beings sh uh, do have the right to make use of them. They so it's it's a, fine to cut off animals' heads if you have other options, in your view. Yes, basically that. It's, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it basically, yeah. there's no difference between basically getting a bunch of plants and eating them and decapitating a bunch of animals and eating them in terms of morality. Uh, yes. They're both equally the yeah, same. Because, thing. Yeah, because at the uh, yeah at the end they both are there to serve humans. Okay. Like and if that, we have yeah. some dogs over here. Yeah. We have dogs. Do you like dogs? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we have uh, yeah. potatoes. Yeah. There's no difference between decapitating all of these dogs to eat them and yeah. chopping up these potatoes to eat them in terms of morality, your morality. Yeah, if you're going to feed people with it, there's no difference. Yeah, even though we have a I bunch mean, of you, food. If you could eat rocks, yeah, why not? Your rocks too. Like you can no, eat no, my brother, I'm just saying we've got a bunch of other vegan food we can yeah, eat. Yeah, We're doing yeah. it for a choice because we like the taste or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's no. okay to do, chop up yeah, dogs? Yeah, in my, in my opinion, this is... This okay. is not a right or wrong situation because if your okay. if your intention is to eat it, then um, okay. then it should uh, be fine. But okay. now what I would like I'm to... not saying that if you eat uh, vegetarian food. So I'm saying that actually, if you eat, do eat vegetarian food, it's actually a better thing because then you can well, feed more if, humans. If no, but oh yeah, because yeah, yeah. I only care about humans. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Well, I'm ready for you now. I know where you're going. Now, if I put a bunch of humans here on this side, yeah, and we have a bunch of vegan food here, right? Yeah. Is it okay to chop the humans up to eat them if we have a bunch of other uh, vegan food to eat? So you got humans at one side and you got vegan food. Yeah, like, but let's just say they're not from this country. They're on an island somewhere. So we don't, they kind of like live out in the wild. Like uh, they're, they're kind of like a tribal kind of community that yeah. are isolated from the rest of the world. And we don't know too much about them. They're, they're sort of out there like uh, living their own life in their own society, right? Yeah. Is it okay to chop them up and eat them? Is it morally the same as cho chopping up potatoes? No, you don't eat human beings. Why? Okay. Because it's unethical. Why is it unethical? Uh, it's because it's cannibalism and it's considered unethical. It's, Why is cannibalism uh, unethical? It's it's uh, it doesn't feel right. I don't think like you have family, you, you like you you don't eat them right after they die or whatever. You just bury them or no, I'm just uh, burn so, them. so so I'm trying yeah. to figure out why it's wrong. Yeah, it's yeah, it's all to about eat right humans, to but not wrong to eat animals, even though we're both sentient beings. 
it's not the same level of sentient beings. So, like you said, your um, your head, what's it called, the smartphone, Apple. That's that's you call it a sentient, but it's not sentient. This but is you a, call it this sentient. has intelligence, IQ, oh. but it's not sentient. Oh, what did you say? It was, was uh, which had sentient? Some uh, you gave an analogy. Well, what's this? Animals have sentience. Animals. So, like we have this artificial intelligence coming up, and it's intelligent. Yeah, so, it's intelligent, but it's not sentient. Yeah, but how do you know? It would be really difficult to know if an artificial yeah. intelligence is sentient, but we know that um, non-human animals and human animals are sentient. We make an inference because basically we have we have subjective experience, we have brains, yeah. we have eyes, yeah. nervous system, and sentient animals have those things too. So we basically yeah. give them the same benefit of so, the doubt as we so give So you're basically humans. asking me what was my point when I, I said, I, uh, no, my, when I differentiated humans and other animals, you, and I you said- You think it's unethical to chop yeah. up humans yeah, if we have other options? Yeah but it's not unethical to chop up animals. Yeah. Now I'm yeah. asking you, is there a characteristic? Yeah, it's the, Is there a characteristic yeah. that separates yeah. humans and animals that makes it wrong to kill and cut yeah. up humans yeah. and okay to kill And what is that characteristic? Yeah. I actually mentioned uh, it's the ability to d differentiate between right and wrong. So okay. the animals don't do that. Animals okay. just live the, they live the life. Okay, so ability to yeah. differentiate right and wrong. Yeah. So let's just say the, the, the people yeah. in this isolated uh, mm -hmm. society don't have the ability to differentiate between right and wrong. So they are basically humans, but practically... Yeah, like a small call, baby like doesn't animals. either, by the way. A small baby doesn't either, by the way. Um, and some humans that are born with, um, say, so, some severe cognitive uh, disability, they, yeah, they yeah, often but, don't know. Yeah. So, uh, but we still protect them with human rights. But I'm, I'm just saying, um, oh. if this group here didn't have the ability... Say that they had about the ability as dogs do, because dogs know right and wrong to a certain degree. And so do certain other animals. They know they they, they might not understand why they've done something wrong, but they might they they learn right and wrong. But let's just say they had about the same degree as a cow or a pig. So that's intelligence. Uh, it's I don't I don't really know is it, how is, effective it still, is it okay to kill them though? No, no, it's it's yeah, it's not it's not about that. So well, that was uh, your characteristic. I'm just saying no, if, no. We, if if they didn't have the ability to differentiate no. right and wrong, is it okay to kill humans then? Uh, so then they would be. Um, Biologically human, but it would they wouldn't be human in the sense that we attribute ourselves with, like the Renaissance and stuff like. So we can now chop them up and eat them. Uh, we can go through and shoot them all in the face and I mean, cut them up and it's, eat them. It's quite a it's quite a hypothetical um, explanation, well, but, but I understand your point. Human points. beings actually exist yeah. like this in society right now. There are people and babies and. And yeah. people with, uh, but they're like with, with really, really small minority. It doesn't matter. Is it okay to go out and shoot like all them and 0. eat them? Zero point one, 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 one. I don't care whatever. if it's one. I no, don't it care if it's matters. one of them. No, I'm just saying it's be being practical matters. It's, even if it's one, is it okay to shoot them in the face and eat them? Uh, like, and you, you're, you're, you're basically imagining a human that does cannot differentiate a right, right and wrong. wrong. Yeah. Um, be, because of their maybe some inherent. I'm just asking you, is it okay to shoot them and eat them then? Uh, no, because I would say they are still human. Because okay, being, one human, sec, one being sec. human. So you said no. Well, but let me finish though. Okay. Being human isn't just about uh, differentiating right and wrong, there is also a biological aspect to it. But usually they are like 99.999% together anyway, so we don't do this uh, separation. Like Rights are supposed to protect minorities from, yeah. from bad things happening, so the majority can't use excuses to kill them. Right, so it doesn't matter if it's one or if it's ten. But you're saying it's not actually if they can or cannot differentiate right and wrong. It's not that because you won't allow me to kill a human and eat them if they can't differentiate right and wrong. Yeah. No, no. So I'm, it's not yeah. that. It's something else no, as well. It is that, but it's you cannot just uh, say it's just that. Okay, it's and is it a collection that. of things then? Yeah. Of it's course. that, and then what's the next thing? Well, Biology. What's the next you thing? said. Yeah, of course, because when you say, when you, so you basically you're trying to define human, because when I differentiate between humans I and animals... I what the morally significant yeah. characteristic yeah, yeah, is mo about human beings. Yeah, that, so yeah. morally significant characteristic is differentiating right and wrong, but just because one person it doesn't wasn't. have that right... It wasn't. Right. It wasn't, because when, when, I, when I asked you about killing a human who can't, you said, oh, no, no, they're still human. So it wasn't that, actually. No, no, that's, that's like the, the mo gist, gist of it. That's like, that's like the biggest part of it, but... It's but, just not just that. So, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna do one because, or two. You're gonna do you another say, thing as well. No, 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 no. Because if you say that, then you then you say as you are saying that now, you can just kill apply some, it, some I, people I can just like apply this. Apply it to human. Exactly. Yeah. So this is what, and, and you so, do, and you won't think it's okay. Yeah, because it's not okay. Yeah. Because why? That, but the, so now we get to a point, right? You no. know what I'm about to do. Every characteristic you say that is morally significant, I'm going to apply to humans, and I'm going to say, okay, they can't differentiate right and wrong. You said biology. They're biologically human. So, they are biologically human, yeah. Like and that's DNA what makes them morally valuable? 
for some reason? Uh, no, this, so the, what makes them morally uh, valuable is that their ability to differentiate right and wrong. But if you it's go with not, this mentality... It's not, bro, then, I just remove that no, from the hypothetical no, human. Let, let, and, no, 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 bro, no, because you keep repeating it. I no. removed that from the hypothetical no. human and you still thought it was wrong to kill them. So it's not that. No, it's it's something else. Now, no. what is it? It's wrong you, to and then kill we can them. add them both together and apply it to the human. Okay, let me try okay. this way. Let me try this way. I think it's still wrong to kill them because let's imagine that guy is your uh, brother and someone... Okay, they're not your brother. So, I told no, you they're isolated. Okay, this group right. of people are isolated. Well, I'm telling you, it could be your brother. Well, I'm like, saying I, they're I, not I in this hypothetical. Is it okay to kill them then? But they're someone's brother, isn't it? No, they're not. In this hypothetical, they are not. They right. don't have family. Is it okay to kill them then? Uh, it's, uh, I mean, you could you could argue like I'm this, asking but it's no, not no. practical, mate. I am. This like... is testing your ethical view. Yeah, but you can you could take this with any view, anyone, no, I'm anywhere. I'm taking it like... with your view. Why it's okay to chop up? Yeah. Why is it okay to chop up animals? Yeah. And not okay to chop up humans. Now we're at. He has a brother. He doesn't have a brother in this hypothetical. He can't differentiate yeah. right and wrong. He can't do that in this hypothetical. Is yeah. it okay to... Br we can even breed humans that we remove that trait from them. You know, we can breed them so they don't have family. Is it okay to make a bunch of humans like this, put them in the conditions that we do to animals and cut their heads off just to eat them when we have vegan options available? Look, biologically speaking, humans share the same... Uh, DNA? Uh, no, no, same uh, cell structure with animals. So they can be eaten like they can be eaten they people eat them like it's wrong it's okay to eat humans no it doesn't make it okay to eat uh why not i want to find out why you well hold i could reverence for human life and yeah. desecrate the remains of animal life well it's 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 very hard to answer your question mainly because uh maybe i'm not really understanding how a human would be without a sentiment so it's, it's like very hard to imagine that's why it's easy like, to imagine like give me an example. It's very like, uh, easy to imagine. Let's just say they have about the same understanding of right and wrong as your average cow or your average dog. You said it's okay to kill dogs and eat them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, yeah. just a human being with the average um, capacity to understand right and wrong as your average dog or cow. No, okay. Very now, easy now to understand. imagine. Okay. Yeah. okay, now I understand your point. Can we shoot point. them in the face and eat them? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, now I had this uh, more organized in my head. Hopefully I'll be able to give you an answer. So... Um, as you said, the one and only main, as I said, sorry, the one and only main difference between humans and other animals is the ability to differentiate between right That's and wrong. That's not an answer to the question. I asked no, no, you, no. is it okay no. to shoot them? And if they have about no, no. the ability of a cow or no. dog, it's no. a yes and it's a yes or it's a no, and then you can explain. Okay. Is it okay to shoot them and kill okay. them? Okay. Firstly, no. Okay. Because uh, it is it is so beyond uh, possibility that if yeah. Uh, it doesn't define what human is. So, what do you mean it's, it's beyond possibility? What do you so, mean logical or? Yeah, it's no. It's, it's not. It's is not it logically possible. Like, impossible for you to no, understand. No, this fictional scenario. Okay, in this fictional scenario, yes, there you can eat them. But this fictional okay, scenario so, okay, doesn't exist. Okay, one second exist. before yeah. you go, because now you're saying. Yeah. In, it's not a fictional scenario. It's a hypothetical to test your ethical theory, right? Yeah, yeah. So, in this hypothetical, there's a human being who has about the the understanding of a right and wrong as a as a cow does. Yeah. yeah. It's completely okay to kill them. Yeah. To kill a billion of them? Yeah, because uh, and basically they're not human. In, okay. in this in this point of view, they are. like they're not human. They are exactly they're exactly like Tarion, <coughs> this gentleman here, this this gentleman here, uh, Ross. No, no. They're exactly like me. The only thing is they their ability to understand right and wrong is about yeah. at the level of a cow. So we can yeah. kill billions of them and eat them for eternity. No, but uh, you just, you, no, wait, no, no, wait. You're you saying in this world or in this hypothetical world? Because in that in that hypothetical world, they're no one's brother, they're no one's sister. But here, I'm they testing are... your ethical theory with a hypothetical yeah. to see if it's yeah. uh Yeah, but you can you cannot apply. Like, gonna... That's why I said you can't kill them in that hypothetical world. I but can. This one. Uh, no, let's just that, say they existed. World, in, yeah. These hypothetical beings yeah. existed in this world. Yeah. Can we kill them and eat them? But they're somebody's sister. They're somebody's brother. They're somebody's mother. So you. I can, already you said they're not. I already told you they're not. But in that hypothetical world, we bred them to be like this. You bred, you, you're, are you, are you talking farmed, about the real life? Or no, no like, listen brother, can I farm, can I genetically alter human beings to not, um, to, to have the level of right and understanding of right and wrong as a cow, can I genetically alter them, create a farm to mass breed them and slaughter them if they don't have family, right? They're exactly like us in every other way, except they don't understand right and wrong, as bad as much as a cow. Can I create a mass uh, breeding camp where I just genetically alter them and, and murder them for burgers even though we have vegan options can i do that 
in your uh, world just for ethical, just for just for argument's sake right? no, you, no, 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 just for argument's sake i'm not going to take into account that some they will you, uh, every now and then one of them will be intelligent like you're not going to check let's say all of them are uh, just non sentient they're not they are the sentient they're sake. completely sentient dude they're yeah. completely 100% sentient as, they as, just, just they just don't understand right and wrong yeah yeah no, sorry, no, they're yeah. completely human sentient. They just yeah. don't understand. They they have the level of understanding of right and wrong as oh, a sorry, cow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's my bad. Sorry. Yeah. yeah I, I meant what I meant by sentient is actually sorry. It's, it's yeah, my yeah, bad. They're sentient. So yeah, they, what yeah, happens to yeah. them matters to them. They're not. If so, they were non-sentient, so we I wouldn't care so about we, them. So um, yeah, we just uh, assume none of them. Uh, it's, it's none of them will ever will be embedded in the yeah. hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Okay, so, I'm trying to figure yeah. out if you really think it's okay to kill a being without this this characteristic. Like they don't matter. Like they don't actually matter now. No, no, no let, let me finish. So, okay. um, let's say you breed them and you somehow check all of them to say, uh, yep. I don't know how you do it actually, but we have none, a test. Of, none of them we have a test. can do right or wrong. Yeah, we have a test. We, we right have an amazing test that yeah. is 100% success rate. So, we know. basically, if they fail, you, it's a day okay to eat. So, you're imagining this world, right? So, if they, if they fail the test, they don't, they don't have they the don't, ability to do right fail. or wrong. It's, it's the test to see if they have the level of understanding of right and wrong as a cow. Yeah. And in this world, it's okay to shoot them no, in the face no, and eat them. Uh, un so, there's three things. Understanding, not intelligence. It's an easy question, man. No, no, For no. me, it's no. No, 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 wait. For me, it's 100% no, no. no. That's psychotic. That's an evil world. No, no, no. Wait. And, and your, you're wrestling this, with this. This is your world. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm, no. not, I'm not doing this. You're, no, no, you're this is your this world, world view. This is yeah. your ethical view in action. No. Look, if someone cannot differentiate right or wrong, then... Uh, they, it, it doesn't, so, okay. So they don't okay, matter no, no, morally no, no, no. until they okay. do? Just, Sorry, just I want to apologize because now I actually think of something. Uh, just because a human cannot differentiate uh, right or wrong, it doesn't mean that they're not going to ever be able to differentiate because some psychotic people, the they make they a never recovery. Will. In the hypothetical, the hypothetical they, they, will, so, they will to the extent that a cow will. Well, the cow cannot differentiate the right well, they, or wrong. Well, to a certain degree, they can. Well. Well, they don't no, just stop no. their babies to death. Yeah, they but don't just it's walk, not, they don't right. just run up and headbutt people to death. No, Cows no. can differentiate some form of right and wrong. It's it's their uh, innate no, they're, they're, innate they're nature. Brother. It's their innate Cows nature. Cows yeah. do not just walk up and headbutt people for no reason, man. Yeah, like uh, they don't. normal people don't, they don't do that my, either. My friends have sanctuaries. You don't. No, no, no. no. Cows do not just attack people. Yeah, it's, if they're it's defending their, their nature, child, they yeah. do. If you yeah. shot their friend, they cry. Yeah, but they have some understanding, so don't you can't okay. bring cows no, lower no. than they are. So no, no, this no, no, hypothetical no. humans have yeah. about the experience of a cow in terms of understanding right and wrong. So, a cow is an animal, but so is a snake, and so is a scorpion. And a scorpion will sting you if you try to go yeah, across but it. That's so not it's their the nature. Question. It's that's their not nature. The that's not the question. No, the doesn't question mean... is: it okay to mass murder no, these people? No. Okay, I'm telling you. The animals are only doing that because it's their nature to do it. No, no, a snake no, no. would bite you is because that, it's its okay. nature. It's, so yeah. we, we can we can leave if if we we'll, we'll finish we we'll finish it here. Yeah. We have these hypothetical humans. They'll yeah. always have this degree of our right and wrong understanding. Is it okay to mass kill them and eat them? Even though we have vegan options and we're not doing it for survival, yeah. Uh, they if they if they cannot different just for argument's sake, About I, as much I as accept the cow. it. Yeah, I accept it that. The main thing that makes human a human is the ability to differentiate right or wrong. And you said, okay, now they can't do it. I, no, they can I do it to the level of a cow, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Because you kill cows, or you pay for cows to be killed for this reason. That's your reason for kill animals and harm yeah. animals. Yeah. So is it okay so, to do that to humans with this characteristic? So removed? I can answer this like this. I don't believe any animal that uh, they have the ability to differentiate right or wrong. It's they do whatever they do because it's their nature. No, no, I'm not gonna. Uh, no, that's not an answer to the question. The answer so, to the question. So no, no, I'm going to answer. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to answer, it, but I'm going to answer. Is it like this? Is it okay to kill them? You have to answer. It's okay to yes kill them. Yes or no, and then answer. It's okay to kill them. Okay. Provided that they do not have the ability to differentiate right and wrong, not to the extent just the cows, because I believe they no, don't, no, they, they don't have that too. It has to be to the extent of a cow, because otherwise, why do you kill cows? Why do you allow yeah. cows to be killed for you? Yeah, because humans make use of whatever Yeah, and if around. we made use of these humans, that's okay? Uh, they wouldn't be humans anymore. There's left no, by your definition, point. no, but by every other yeah. metric, they look exactly the same. They don't want to die. They, they feel pain, suffering, happiness, just like a cow. You, only yeah, thing yeah. removed is their ability to understand right and wrong to the degree of a cow. Yeah. 
And I believe this is a significant okay. uh, difference. If you, okay, so we'll leave it as that. You yeah. believe it's okay to kill these humans and eat them just the same as you do for animals? They wouldn't so be humans so by this definition. like By, by your definition, but by yeah. every other metric they are. Yeah. So, okay, that's yeah. cool. I think we're, we're done here. Thank yeah, you very okay, much. Yeah, thank you very much. That's uh, consistency? That's consistency gone too far? I think most people would disagree with the, with the hypothetical killing of the people. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. No, yeah, because it's just not practical. It's just, it just doesn't exist. Yeah. There. It's just how your worldview turns out. Like that's that, if you have an ethical view, this is where it goes. But mine is don't kill either, and that's how easy it is for me. You're just making a sandbox, and from there you okay. If you you, you accept this, then you you're, you're doing this. I know no. how you do it, but I'm trying to figure out if you accept it. If you accept it here, you have to accept it here to be consistent. That's all. Yeah. It really doesn't work like this. It's, it's our human. Yeah, I'm saying you have about the same justification to kill these other animals as you do to kill humans with the same characteristics. That's about the same, and I think they're both unjustified. You think they're both justified. So what makes a human human then for you? So you ask for that. What, what makes a human valuable is a different question, is sentience. We are both sentient, so we're both matter. That's what, that's how I determine morality. You think you don't, so you're like you could or what? So we both have interests. As far as our interests matter, they should be respected. Cows have interests not to be murdered. They don't want to, if you give them an option, are you going to die right now by this gun in your forehead? They don't want to die. So as far as their interests matter, we should respect those interests, which is to leave them be, respect their rights, not kill them and eat them, just like we expect. That's how easy it is for me. Sorry, it was a bit too fast, but you think uh, they're like the same or not? Like We're not on the same level. Like a child is not on the same level as you, but you both deserve rights. A baby is not on the same level as you. I don't think it's okay to kill the baby. They don't understand right and wrong. Yeah, it's, just, it's the same status. Yeah, look. It's equal between equals. Like. Just because we're not completely equal in every way, that doesn't mean we don't, don't deserve equal rights not to be murdered. It's just a fundamental approach at the beginning, that my fundamental approach is that whatever is there is for the benefit of humans, but you need to be careful with what you do, yeah, so you need and, to be reasonable. And living with... Yeah. by deriving benefit from those who yeah. can't defend themselves is like um is like a different race deriving benefit from another race because they they want benefit from this race of people it's unjustifiable yeah like basically slavery is similar yeah, it's, to this it's one group a, a powerful group yeah deriving benefit from a a minority group yeah and we do that to non-human animals yeah we're stronger than them yeah. they're not going to attack you back a chicken ain't going to attack you yeah a cow ain't going to attack you yeah, if you try to do it to me i'll attack you yeah. But you can't do it to me. But yeah, you do it to these other animals because they're vulnerable, they're innocent. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Because we can. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, do you think, it's, do no, you think it's, that's okay? I, it, at the first step, I believe, because they are there for a reason, because we can... Who, who we said can. they're there for you? Are women uh, here for you? Huh? Are women here for you? No, why would you say that? No, no. No, because no. You're, you're saying animals yeah. are here for us. Animals, who, who gave you the right to say that? Yeah, uh, but... Who, who you, gave so, you that okay, right? Okay, no, I, I understand you. I understand you. Right. I understand you. I understand you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wait, wait. But well, if you, you can take this by this opposite, like the, if you reverse it, you could take this the other way. You could say, oh, okay, uh, trees uh, are sentient. They're trees, not sentient. They, they feel... They're they, not sentient. No, if you pinch them, they will... They're not sentient. ...make stimulus. That's a stimulus. Yeah. So what? They're not sentient. So, so what? My they phone has something. a stimulus. Do you want to see? Is, it, is my phone sentient? No. No. See that? No, no, it's not the same. Sentient? It's not the same. It's not the same. So Trees you, are intelligent, no, you, they're not sentient. So you can take it quite extremely no, other way, can't. other way around no, you too. Can't. Yeah. Trees are not sentient, so I don't care. What's the jinx of it? Like what's the uh, gist of it? Being sentient is important because it, Because it's everything you experience. They feel, basically they feel. They it can it feel, means they can feel. They can feel, you you have a subjective experience. Yeah. What what happens to you matters to you? You know? A tree is just yeah. rooted into the ground. They don't have a brain functioning nervous system. They react to sunlight. They have, you know, they're just non sentient uh, computers. That's all they are. They're living, yeah. but they're not sentient. They don't have a brain. Uh, Animals do. There, there are some studies. I don't know the like. The yeah, I've seen the studies. Them. They're all on they, fun intelligence. They're not on sentience. Uh, they do like classical music with the plants, and uh, they uh, respond yeah, that, to it. Weather, weather. Well, you know, cows are sentient. You know, when I stab a cow, they suffer. If I walked up and kicked that tree, you wouldn't stop me. It, because it cannot move. It's not, it's not nah, built yeah, like that. Yeah, nah. It's not built you like You know that. trees are not sentient. And, and if you're going to say yeah. that what we do to animals, yeah. cut their heads off, um, yeah. they're raped in the dairy industry with farmers' arms, their piglets yeah. are tortured and heads smashed on the ground. If you're going to say that that is justified because of trees, 
no, for no, some no. reason. No, no, no. It's it's not about you can like you can kill animals if you're if you're hungry. You you want to eat something, you can kill it. You're not hungry uh, though. You got other things to eat. That's what, that's my whole point. You got other things to eat. Yeah, I understand this. Yeah, I think my uh, my viewpoint is different because at at the first I believe that they are there for they're below us and we can use them because they're below us. That's your view. Yeah, essentially, and the main so reason is anyone you perceive is as below you, not me as human. And what as about race. humans? If, yeah. if I perceive other humans as below no, no, no. me, can as I do that? Race. Yeah, why? Why is it different? Yeah, because they. I'm stronger than they, a lot of people. No, no, they they do not have the ability I'm stronger to. Than, to than children. They do not I'm have the ability than some to. Men. They do not have the ability to can differentiate exactly. right and wrong. It's a it's a yeah. really f***ed up worldview to say ah, yeah. because oh, I want to derive benefit of this group, and the, for you it's animals, for some people it's other people. They're both as up as each other yeah it's not right yes it's you can't right. do it some people doing this against like the nazis but they did it to the jews Jewish or people. whatever they they think they're, they're better whatever yeah so it's, it's wrong. rubbish but it's a my, supremacist yeah, mindset yeah but mine isn't like that my, it's i'm exactly saying that like that no, animals are being that, murdered for you it's exactly like that yeah but they uh, they, they through the not, animals eyes is it bad uh you so that because we don't live in an in so it's they have not, a knife it's not put bad. into their throat yeah a knife yeah. goes into their throat and their head is cut off of their shoulders. Is yeah. that bad for the animal? I mean, it's dying. I, is it you bad? Could, you could say it's bad. Is it bad for you? Yeah, it will be bad for me too. Okay, and it's, so, so it's bad for you, but it's like, not bad for them? Let me, let me, like. Is it bad? No, one sec, you didn't answer my question. I'm getting frustrated. It's, it's, is it bad for the animals? It's bad for the animal. It's bad okay. for the human. Okay, so it's bad. Can I continue? But no, we, uh, you what, go what, off on what, tangents, bro. That's why I'm trying no, to keep no, no. you on topic. Uh, what is good and what is uh, wrong is all uh, primarily based on the reason behind it. So you could say, oh, I'm dying, it's bad. Or you could say, oh, I'm dying because I'm here to defend my country or whatever. I'm stabbing you in the throat for a sandwich. Is that bad? Depends how hungry are you. I don't know. It depends how hungry are you. You are, yeah. Bro, in civilization right yeah. now, I've got other things to eat. Is it, is it bad to stab you in the throat for a sandwich? Is that bad for you? Is it actually unethical to do? Yeah, if you're like, okay. it, as I said, it's behind all, all, it's all about the reason behind it. So, yeah, and your reason to do this to animals yeah, because, is because you like the taste of them. Uh, Be some animals, I don't even like the taste of it. I don't okay, like them. Okay, okay. But you can, but you can get your nutrition from plant foods. I don't understand why yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. You can do it. But this okay, is, if you, this you, is okay, one second, one second. This is off so topic you, now. You know you can get your nutrition from plant foods. Yeah. Why is it okay to stab animals to death? It's because they're there to, they, they, they're there to you. Um, for humans to make use of them, Fruits essentially. Who? Humans, other humans. So humans said it's okay to abuse those who are smaller than them, yeah, or, or weaker than them. So therefore, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Okay. And no, the Nazis no, no. said it's and the no. Nazis said and it's I okay to, to say gas this. chamber the Jews. I know, I know you're because they were a minority this. in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's okay. No, it's not okay. Because the Nazis said it was okay. Yeah, I know. They said it was okay, but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. and whites in America thought it was okay to enslave black people because uh, be, they no, said it was okay. No, because they do not have money. So just they, because humans say it's okay to do this to animals, does that yeah. make it okay? If you can, if you can uh, process it, understand it. If we say it's okay, it's okay. No, if you, you know, do you know that's a dictator mindset, no, 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 no. bro? If you no, you're, come on, you're, bro. No, you're, you're, that's yeah. exactly what you're saying. You're, um, I'm you're not take, even misinterpreting you. You're, no, you're saying you're a bit like this. they are here for us. We've said they're here for us. Yeah. Right? We take benefit from them because we say so. That's your argument for doing it to them. Yeah. That's a dictator argument. It could be right though. Like if you, if you. It could be right. For yeah. who you? Y yeah. If, okay. If you were in the animal's position, would it be right? Uh, if I was an animal, then would I be wouldn't right? be talking like with you right now. Yeah, like but animals. Do you don't think animals don't want to be harmed? Do animals want to be harmed? So it's all a survival instinct, isn't it? So they want to live, no matter what. It's more than survival instinct. They don't want to be harmful. Or yeah, of course, no one. Most no, of other no, reasons. No living animal wants to be. No living cell. No living organism wants to be that die. You know, they don't want to die. Parrots don't so. care what happens to them. I'm talking about cows and pigs and chickens and birds and fish. They have yeah. brains. They have eyes. They have emotions. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, it's, uh, no, it's, it's to be it's, honest, it's, I feel like I'm arguing with someone that just doesn't give a shit about like the, the the feelings of others. That's what yeah. I, I feel like. I'm arguing with someone who has no empathy. Oh, so if you say I don't have empathy, so. People can eat me like that or what? You don't have empathy for animals. No. It's very clear. And no. I could show no. you some footage, but I no. don't know if it's even no, no. worth it. It's, like it's, what, no, no, what no. actually no, no. happens. Don't, don't do this. No, no. I'm just saying the animals, of course you cannot torture them. It's a terrible thing to do. It's like, why, not, wait, just, wait, why just can't you torture them? them? Why would you torture them? Like, why it, can't you? Why do because, they matter? It's because wrong. Torture, what if I got torture a, is in itself is wrong. It's, but you oh, can kill some, okay. someone. Okay, one sec, one sec. Look, you what if I derive benefit from it? Yeah. Well, let me finish, brother. Please. No, no, let me, what if I derive benefit from the torture? Like like personal pressure or something yeah. like that. 
It's, uh, Is it okay I, then? No, you need to be in prison then. One second. Animals are put here for my benefit. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. you said that. Yeah. I want to torture them to derive pleasure from it, which is also for my benefit. Let's just which say it helps, my, excuse me, it helps my depression to torture animals. Yeah. Is that okay? No, torture is in itself is not another why is good it, thing. Why, why they were put here for me? And they don't experience right and wrong. They don't understand right and wrong. So why, is it, why does it matter? Because it doesn't matter about, it's not about them. Torture is in itself is wrong. Like, it's wrong. Well, so torturing what? Torturing, yeah. is torturing this wrong? You cannot torture a rock. Why not? Because it doesn't have feelings. It, okay, does, it cannot can I feel. Okay, uh, can I torture a carrot? No, no, I don't, it doesn't feel, right? No. Right? <laughs> yeah, of course yeah. not. But so, so I, I can't torture animals in your, yeah. in your ethical view. I can only cut yeah. their head off. Yeah. Uh, so like I can cut the, their head off, but I can't torture them. Yeah, basically, it's like guillotine was invented because it was the most okay. pain, painless death, isn't it? So you, do, you don't just stab them 100 times. You just so do, do you eat chickens them. by any chance? Yes, but uh, can we get yeah, back the, to the topic? No, the topic like, is, yeah. you don't think it's okay to torture animals. What if I said yeah. torture is inherent inside of animal agriculture? Inherent, meaning a part yeah. of the industry. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. I, I don't support it. I don't like it. But you buy the products from there. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't believe you because of course you do. Do you eat bacon? No. You don't eat uh, any pigs? No, no. So you don't eat animals? No, I eat animals, but the animals that I eat are there uh, usually, like they're supposed to be, uh, they, they go through a specific type of um, execution. And it's, supp it's supposed to be the... Where? Where are these magical animals coming from? No, no, it's not about animals. So you, you feed the animal, you give it, you give it water. Where do you buy your meat from? Uh, from a uh, halal place, chicken, uh, like whatever. Are you Muslim? You yes. I'm Muslim, ah, okay. This worldview is coming from God. Uh, this is coming from the uh, tradition, people, tradition there. No, Muslim is Muslim. It means you're a follower of, of yeah, God. Yeah, but it doesn't so, say... So that's why animals were put here for... No, it does, it, the, the, uh, because the um, argument is completely different. No, no, it, because our religion doesn't, in itself, legend doesn't really say so anything about how you, you, how you kill chickens, the animals. Do you believe halal chickens are not tortured? You cut the head off, it's the simplest no, way where to do, kill where it. Do they, where do they exist? Where are they born? They're born in farms. Yeah. Chickens here are factory farms, yeah? They're farmed um, in factories, brother. Yeah, they, they are born, they are bred, they're given all sort of uh, bad stuff like antibiotics, whatever, they hormones and, and then stuff. they halal slaughter them and they put a halal yeah. stamp on them. Yeah, but yes, the way yes. you halal slaughter up, them is just cut cut the neck off. Like it's the simplest, easiest no, way to kill them. but they're tortured first. What do you mean tortured first? The, their, their existence inside of the shed, these chickens, right? Yeah. They're, they're, they're bred to grow faster yeah. than their bodies can handle. So millions yeah. of them, die in the farms before they reach the slaughterhouse. Yeah. They die, suffer and die in these sheds. Yeah. But they go to the, the halal slaughterhouse, they cut their head off and they call it halal. Yeah, this is a uh, bad practice. It doesn't, it no, doesn't say it's... Uh, it's the, uh, the inherent in animal yeah. agriculture, no matter whether it's halal yeah, or I, not, And I completely torture. agree with you. Uh, it, should, it shouldn't be like okay. that. And, and you know that... Being it's just vegan, bad practice. It's not about... Yeah, but being vegan whatever. is completely consistent with um, being a Muslim. Yeah, I know. It's, it's actually the best way to avoid torturing of animals. It's actually the most halal yeah. thing to do. Uh, it's not really, it doesn't work like that, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it falls within the ambit of religion, well, well, basically. Well, you don't know where you get your meat from. Well, that's, what I, that's why I said what I said, that we don't live in an ideal world. Yeah, uh, but and, and as, a, as a Muslim, if I was a Muslim, yeah. if I want to avoid a haram uh, animals being yeah. tortured and suffering, then yeah. I would just be a vegan Muslim. Yeah, you could do it. You could do it. It's, it's actually a sensible thing to do, and I'm not against it. I'm just saying uh, but, you can, but, but, in fact, kill animals, but, but just don't torture but, them. But also, as a Muslim, how can you be okay with killing humans at all? I'm not, I'm not okay with it. It's, it's your hypothetical world in a hypothetical situation where no one is no one's brother, no one's sister, mother. It's just, mm. you, it's just I just followed you there. It's no, just, that's right. it's okay, just there. we'll get off of the... Yeah. I don't think you're, that you're a really strict practicing Muslim anyway, like... To, to that degree, because otherwise we would have got into an argument about um, halal slaughter, which we never did. I debate with Muslims quite a lot, and you never brought yeah. up Islam, so or halal, so we won't. We don't need to go there really. We had a pretty yeah. decent discussion about animal yeah. ethics in your position anyway, yeah. and I think we should just wrap. We, yeah, we wrap I see. I understand. Now. Thank you uh, for for yeah. the conversation. For the Do you think the benefit argument went well? Or I mean, uh, this this kind this kind of stuff happens not just in your area. It you could take some random view and just. Uh, go with this methodology to take it extreme and it can end up in weird places like weird hypothetical worlds uh, that's why i want to be more practical about it and more realistic but i do understand your points we they can apply your your ethical theory out to the real world right now so it would still 
you know, because there are people that mm. don't have this trait that you talked about that exists right now. Babies yeah. are one. Um, people with severe... Yeah, but they are going to... Yeah, but people that, with disability you know? are not as well. People who are born without empathy as well. Yeah, but you don't just go ahead and kill them because there's, yeah. there, there's some part of someone else. So yeah, but if they weren't, there, there are some that, are, that don't have any family as well. Yeah, but it's just... Yeah. What's your you point? wouldn't accept killing them though. Yeah, because it doesn't make yeah. them... But you know why you wouldn't? Them. Do you know why you wouldn't? Because I don't think that you actually value that trait. I think you actually value humans for a different reason because you know they experience the world like you do. No, that's part of way. it, but I think yeah. what differentiates is the main main thing is that yeah. our ability to differentiate between. So if I if you found out right thing. now I couldn't differentiate right and wrong, it's okay to kill me. No, me right now. No. Yeah. No, so it's, it's not that. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. Look, it's, uh, so, it's because so, you're somebody else is somewhat like. No, yeah, like but that. yeah. I mean, let's just say all my family and anyone that cared about me couldn't differentiate right and wrong either, so they wouldn't experience any suffering if I got killed. It's okay then. They, they would they would be insignificant. You know who it would matter to? It would matter to me that you killed me. I wouldn't want to die. Yeah, yeah. I don't want you to kill me. Yeah, but then this would be uh, this wouldn't be any different from a basic animal instinct to survive. I think murder is wrong because it robs someone of their experience, and you don't have the right to do that. That's why I think it's wrong. It's just um, not so practical to think like this in this world. Like you, you, you that, that murder is wrong. No, no, just. Uh, just because animals can feel certain things uh, yeah. that you okay. can kill them. We can agree to disagree. Yeah. I think yeah. murder is wrong for humans and animals. You think murder is okay for animals and certain human beings with certain traits? Murder is okay for humans as well. It depends what's the reason behind it. If you are trying yeah, to defend your home country... Self-defense is fine. We're not talking about self-defense. Yeah, I would do yeah, that. But I, I would kill in self-defense, 100%. Yeah, you can, if you're hungry, then you would kill as well. No, I don't think it's justified to kill people because I'm hungry. There are cases in the Can United I kill States. you because I'm hungry? No, there are cases of Can I kill this. you if I'm hungry? Of course. And that wouldn't be bad? Uh, there, as I said, there are cases about this. Is First it okay school. to do? Yeah, they're taught in Harvard okay. Law School one. And yeah. If you're hungry, I wouldn't want you to kill me, man. I don't think it's yeah. okay to kill someone just because you're hungry. You know the difference I, between okay, meaning yeah. ethical, and it happens. There's, there's a difference here between something yeah. being okay, ethical, yeah. and it happens. I know, I know. I'm it's asking just, you, is it okay to kill someone if you're hungry? Assuming. I've never been that hungry. Maybe you, do, you didn't too. You haven't yeah, been too. It doesn't you matter. Know. It still wouldn't make it ethical if I did it. It would be wrong. Yeah, but these guys, these three guys in USA, they were ex uh, excused by the martial court, by the Supreme Court. They just, um, it was a boat trip and they were survivors on the boat trip. Maybe you heard about this one. Yeah. yeah. The, the Supreme Court of Amer America, they think it's okay. Basically. Yeah, I'll have to look into that case. I don't think murder yeah. is justified if you're hungry. That's for sure. I think but maybe anyway, he died and they ate him. But anyway, thank you for this uh, heated, lovely uh, discussion. Topic. It's been good, man. Thank you. Thank you. I'm burning much. now. Thank you thank very you. much. Me too. Me too. Same, same here. Take care, brother.